As far as we've seen, we think there's a supermassive black hole at the center of every large galaxy in the universe. Why are there black holes at the center of galaxies is one of the big questions in astrophysics and cosmology. Astronomers can detect them by observing the effect that central supermassive black holes have on nearby stars and gas. But are these giant black holes important in the formation of galaxies, or do they just form in the meantime and then migrate to the center? First of all, one possible scenario for the formation of supermassive black holes starts with a chain reaction of collisions of stars in star clusters. The merging causes a buildup of very massive stars, which eventually collapse to form intermediate mass black holes, which astronomers estimate to have between a hundred and a thousand times the mass of the Sun. Such compact regions then sink to the center of the galaxy, where the intermediate mass black holes collide and merge to create a supermassive black hole. Now, supermassive black holes can contain hundreds of millions of times the mass of the Sun. Such black holes are very connected to their home galaxies, and scientists have evidence that the mass of a supermassive black hole has a direct correlation to the galaxy they reside. Typically, a huge amount of galactic matter falls into a central supermassive black hole. Obviously, the black hole can't consume such a vast quantity all at once, so an accretion disk forms, heats up, and glows brightly as an active galactic nucleus, or AGN. But this feeding process is not constant, and it all depends on how much matter is available for the black hole to consume. And then, if the nearby matter is clumpy and irregular, we can see the AGN turning off and on, or flickering. Keep in mind, however, that the Milky Way's central supermassive black hole is not considered an AGN, because it's dormant and not feeding on anything. Another theory as to why these supermassive black holes end up in the center of galaxies is that a dark matter halo that theoretically surrounds every galaxy helps to focus and concentrate material during galactic formations. Scientists theorize this material coalesces into the central supermassive black hole, while the rest becomes the stars of the galaxy. However, there's also an opposite theory that suggests black holes formed first and gravitationally clump the rest of the galaxy around it. The bottom line is that all large galaxies have a central supermassive black hole, and their evolution and structure are closely tied to the scale of their central black hole. However, there's still nothing conclusive as to why they end up at the centers of galaxies. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.